Good evening, and welcome to Get Real. I'm Kyle Peck. Four years ago, the following franchise that started in 2001 was rejuvenated to become a global phenomenon. But for others, it was a bittersweet goodbye. This week, it is my honor to review one of the most anticipated films of this year, Fast and Furious 7. You thought this was going to be a street fight? The film takes place after the events of Fast and Furious 6 and Tokyo Drift. Deckard Shaw, played by Jason Statham, seeks revenge against Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel, and his family for Deckard's comatose brother. You're damn right it is. The fresh round of over-the-top thrills and bulky action sequences capture its clever and dynamic journey. But increasing the emotional stakes is what will set the saga apart from any other movie. The film also elegantly honors late actor Paul Walker, who plays Brian O'Connor at the heart of the Escapist series. His final on-screen role is both emotionally satisfying and heartbreaking. The heightened stakes, performances by the entire cast, direction by director James Wan, and the touching tribute to Paul Walker all make Fast and Furious 7 a great one last ride. I give the film four out of five stars. That's it for Get Real. I'm Kyle Peck.